everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna be making my very first Valentine's wreath everything I have here I got from Dollar Tree and all you're going to need is your centerpiece an 18 inch wreath frame some heart picks one roll of ribbon and I have a nine foot garland I have one extra garland in case I need it but if I don't I won't be using it and then I have my Gorilla Glue sticks my glue gun gonna need two pipe cleaners and one zip tie so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the tag off of my wreath This right here is nine feet long. So I will be removing this here and I will be wrapping it around my wreath train. Now the way I'm going to do it, I have two eight inch zip ties. I thought about using hot glue, but I was like, this is really plasticky and I didn't want it to melt. So what I'm gonna do is gonna find the crossbar here I'm gonna put this through and then zip tie it to the crossbar. Then I'm gonna put this. And then I'm going to just start wrapping. This is what I have so far. Looks nice and full. And then so next I will be adding my no. So this little fella here, I don't want this. going to add him right here so what I'm going to do set this aside I am going to add a Chanel stem right across here with some hot glue And just to make sure it stays down really good, I'm going to just add a little bit of ribbon to the back of it. So.
And I'm gonna set this aside and let this dry for a few minutes. And the next thing I'm going to do is make me a ribbon. So, thank you Dave's Wreaths and Things. I am going to make one of his simple to make ribbons. So, I'm gonna need two pieces that are 18 inches long. And one five. I'm going to set this one aside. This is the 18 inch one. I'm going to use this for my tail, but I'm going to go ahead and dovetail it now because I want to dovetail. to the side. I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun. And I'm going to hot glue the ends. like this. Snip this and I'll fluff it more once I attach it. So, this is ready to be added. So, what I'm going to do. Twist this a few times. I'm 
And now to the bottom here. And here is the gnome. I think I'm going to add my bow right up here. So let me flip this up a little bit. And I'm going to attach the bow right here. So all I'm going to do is add a ton of hot glue. I'm do, gonna do is just stick some of these picks in here. Fluff this bow and that's it. So y'all, here it is. Let me get a better angle for you. Okay everybody, and here's the finished product. Now what I would recommend is to use a door hanger because it's kind of floofy, but I just got it up on the wall for right now. I'm about to put it on my door, so it will have a door hanger. So if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.